Hey guys, this is Christian Light Education CLE Phonics Cards. So um, you can get on their website, clp.org, Christian Light Publications, and you just go to like grade one homeschool and you can buy them. And it comes in this box right here. And it, it looks about this thick. It was so difficult keeping in here. It was just cumbersome. I didn't like it. So I put it in these sheet protectors. These are from Sam's Club. These are, I think, the heavy-duty sheet protectors. A good price. They are thicker than other sheet protectors, so they'll take up more space in a binder. So just keep that in mind. If you don't want that, then don't get as heavy of a gauge for the sheet protectors. Um, but they're super high quality. Um, so for this kind of use, I like it. But you're just going to need a bigger binder if you use these thicker sheet protectors. So um, I bought the Avery binder because it's like super high quality right here. Um, and I got this from Target. It's the heavy duty for extended use. And I did inch and a half thickness. They have like regular duty or whatever, but I did inch and a half. You might not need that if you decide to do this the same way as me and if you don't use as thick of sheet protectors as me. So, I have them all listed order of one, two, three, four. They're, they've got the numbers on the bottom of the card. So it has the sounds, ka, 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 ka. And then you have it underlined here, the sound and a picture to go with it and the word. And you see here, it's number one. And then here is an example of words on the back for furthering on, getting a little bit more education there. They have the ka sounds and then more words down here. And then right here is learning to read 103 and LA is language arts. So um, in their learning to read part of the education, you would use this flashcard. Um, so it'd be learning to read light unit 103 lesson eight. And then LA is language arts. So you'd see that in light unit 101 lesson six. And then second grade light unit 201, which would be the review seventh the lesson is number seven so that's where you're gonna see this so you'll you'll know that and um, I'm gonna do a flip through of this but I'm gonna show you real quick in the teacher's guide where this would be so when you have like a regular lesson um, let me show you here so this would be like lesson six so that's going with this 101 language arts so this is what the lesson six looks like in the teacher's guide. And then you'll see phonics cards one and two. So you'll know, go ahead and just take those out of your binder and have it ready for your student. And they're not long lessons. So, you know what, am I doing this right? Yeah, that's right. Cause that would be learning to read. That's what this page is gonna go along with. I guess they're learning to read light unit 105 dash lesson 10. So, um, show phonics cards number one and two, read the words on the front of each card. And they're teaching the different sounds. And so they, they kind of teach you in the lesson what to say. Sorry if you hear my kiddos. So this is here. You can hear my kids. So here's another example in the fourth light unit of where you would use it. So if you're like, oh, I don't think I need it, uh, you might. I, I would buy it. I got them used on eBay. So look, phonics cards, number six, number nine, 10A, 10B, and 11B. And this is what you're gonna be learning in this lesson. And then here's more detail of how, I'm just trying to show you how this, this is being used. And you'll have your learning to read, the language arts, and the reading that you're gonna be seeing these flashcards being used. I would buy it. I think it's kind of necessary, but it's up to you. So here's the remaining of this lesson that that you're seeing that goes with those phonics cards just so if you want to pause it and look and i do lots of other flip throughs and i'm going to be doing a lot of other subjects in this so if it interests you check out my other videos also please like and subscribe and leave a comment so it encourages me to keep going here is an example of what it's going to look like in the light unit so you're going to see um the the, the sound they're teaching and you'll see the cat the cot and the cup just like in here and it's teaching more special sounds and you're gonna you're gonna see right here caught cut and um you can hear my toddler she's really happy um so that's that's what it looks like in a lesson there so now i'm gonna do a flip through here you can hear my husband like Shh, she's doing a youtube video everybody everybody act good 
Be on your best behavior. Okay, so I'm just going to do a flip through so you can see. Okay. Hopefully you can see it good. I know there's a glare. Be. I'm gonna turn this slide. It's like so bright. Hopefully you can see it better now. And then you just you see there's words on the back. So you know jazz. So they, they teach different things there. But I just want you to be able to see this so you know if if it's worth it for you. Uh CLE they teach phonics very similar to a Becca, but they also put, I think, more emphasis on the sounds. And they kind of have like unique sounds that the way they teach it, you might not really see it as often in other curriculums. I'm not really sure, but I'm saying that because I have one friend who told me they're using unique sounds and they're putting so much emphasis on it that it was almost too much. And she just kind of skipped past those because it was in grade, grade three or something. And then I've seen someone do another YouTube video saying they were teaching them like the different sounds and the way they put the little marks over it, like an A with two dots or something. I don't really know what it was. And they were saying, it's kind of interesting because we don't usually use that. And I learned that in college. And so it might not be necessary. I, I don't know. But I would say things are on par with a Becca with the way they teach like the special sounds and blends and their phonics. Now they teach a different style when you begin the reading, learning to read. There, Abeka is like five vowels, the short sound. Then you turn into like learning consonants. Then it turns into like blends, like ba 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 ba. Then it turns into words, bat bet, whatever. Then they st start teaching like the special blends of phonics and different things like swa and swan, bra and bride, whatever. Where. CLE, I think they're starting off with some consonants and they're just kind of going straight into certain sight words and then it's a little different. So I don't know everything about it, but just they start off a little different. But when you're done a, the grade one, your child will be, have learned, I think a lot of the same phonics information with CLE as you would a Becca. And you can always compare, I'm gonna do more videos and I'm gonna do an actual flip through of the Abeka uh, grade one and this comparing it. So you can actually see that. My kiddos are being loud. I can hear them. I think they're coming. Probably gonna bust in this door any second now. They're really nice flashcards. They come with like cardstock, like a nice thick cardstock. I'm just doing this video because I don't I don't know if there was a video like this out there. And it's nice to be able to just see what things look like. Sometimes you'll be like, like I was on the Abeka website not too long ago and I was debating on buying their flashcards and I was like, you know, I think it's pretty similar to CLE. I don't think I need it. But um, at that point I went to YouTube looking for this kind of video where someone's showing me, um, you know, what each flashcard looks like. And I was trying to debate on buying their digital because Abeka sells their phonics cards or something, phonics charts digitally. So you can just view it on the computer screen. So I was trying to look at that for that reason. And then I just put all these little sheet protectors. I put all this in the sheet protectors and I was like, you know, let me just make a video so other people can see, you know, what it looks like inside. I love CLE so much. It's very affordable. And the nice thing is you, all you gotta do is if you buy all this stuff, all you gotta do is buy light units for the next kids. So if you buy the teacher's guide, they're short lessons, they're straight to the point. I mean, I, I, when I say short, I guess to each their own, but I don't consider it like overwhelmingly long. And they teach things really easily, really easy to understand down to earth in the teacher's guides. Um, I just don't think they're that pricey and Let's just say that your kid does something and, and they're like, oh, I don't like the language arts or I don't like the reading, it's too much or whatever. Then for the next kid, if you wanna to try to use that for them, just replace the light units that the, the first child used. So if your kid goes through two light units and they're like, eh, it's not for me, just buy the two new light units again 
and use the rest of the grade for your kiddos. Where if you buy a Becca, you um, you buy one workbook for the whole year. So if your child does half of it, which one of my kids did that, <laughs> then you're out the money because then you got to go buy a whole new workbook. So the light units are nice because if they don't like one part or this part, just buy a replacement and give it to the next kid and they've got the whole grade. And the light units are like $2.80 or no, $3.20 or $3.70 or $3.80. They're kind of different priced for different things, but super cheap. I bought this, these flashcards on eBay. And there's some secondhand stores you can buy stuff at and find good deals. Um, in Knoxville, there's a Christian bookstore and they have like a used homeschool section and you can find stuff like this sometimes and it just depends on when you go, what you're gonna see. Um, also, there's the McKay's bookstore in certain places. And I know, I think Knoxville and Chattanooga has it. So you can find stuff like this there as well. I found such good deals on stuff. I found like the Abeka readers, I think are like 15 bucks each. They were a dollar each at that McKay's bookstore in Knoxville. And then um, the Rod and Staff Teacher's Guide, I think it was normally like 30 bucks or 25 bucks. It was pretty expensive. I got it for a dollar. <laughs> like some stuff you can just get so cheap. And these flashcards, this is totally fine to buy used as, as long as all the all the pages are there and it's in decent shape. Why not put it in some sheet protectors and you, you know, or laminate it. I didn't want to laminate it though because it'd be too hard and pokey on the corners. And I just, I like this because I can just, it's kind of like bendable, flexible. And I can just unclick this out of the binder have this ready for the lesson and that's it there's i don't think there's any other preparation except they might have something special that they're telling you but for the most part it's very simple so i hope this is good because it's showing you a lot i will try to do some more stuff i got more videos coming so like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff please leave a comment um I am a very, very busy woman. I've got five kids and a lot of businesses. So um, doing this takes up my time. So if you like it, please let me know because I'm only doing it to help you guys out. And I'm doing it because it's what I would want to see. So trying to, trying to be the person I want. I don't know how to say that. I think you understand. I got kiddos coming out of the room now. So if I seem a little distracted, it's because of that. Uh. All right, I'm gonna do some more flip throughs of the different subjects in CLE. Um, hope this has helped. Got just a couple more pages here and I'm done. Have a good day, bye-bye.